Hey everybody, it's Bruce. Well, a while back, a friend of mine was uh, getting rid of this bike. No, actually his neighbor was getting rid of this bike. And my friend asked me if, uh, if I would want it. I said, of course I would. <laughs> he said it was a road bike, so I said, yeah, I'm interested. And uh, this is what I got. First of all, I haven't touched it, you know, since I got it. This is exactly as it came. And uh, today I'm going to attempt to get it into riding condition and hopefully this will be my winter bike. I, I thought this would be a great opportunity to take a bike that's worth to me basically nothing because I got it for free and turn it into something I can ride to work every day in, uh, in the winter. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and clean it up because as you can see here, as you can see it is uh, pretty dirty. Oh, and one thing I'm going to try is I'm going to try this window cleaner to see if it uh, works for cleaning the frame. It was very cheap, so if it does work, that'll be nice and it'll save me some money. It's not super clean, but it's clean enough and it looks a lot better. The next obvious thing I need to address is this. Let's take a closer look at what happened. Obviously the derailleur has been busted off and it looks like it's pretty much ruined. But you think, okay, that's not that bad. There's a derailleur hanger. However, upon closer inspection of that, that's pretty extremely busted up too. Okay, so I finally got that rear cassette taken apart, actually both of them taken apart, and I stuck the gear, the cog, that I want it to be on the hub. So now I'm going to try to put the wheel on and get an idea of where that cog should sit. And by the way, I've never done this before, so I don't really know if it's going to work. I don't know if this, if anybody's done this before. <laughs> okay, I'm back. So after messing with things a lot, I ended up going with this 14 uh, tooth cog and the 42 in the front. That comes out to be almost the same as the 5217, which I have on another bike, which I do like. So uh, I think I'm going to go with this one, and I can I can think I can make it work if there's a small amount of adjustment in the drops. So now I'm just going to try to get the alignment right, and then put some spacers in, and then put a big gear on either side of it so the chain can't escape that. Uh, that narrow path. I don't know if it'll work, I have no idea, but that's what I'm gonna try. About 12 millimeters from the end, the center of the cog should be. Okay, folks, that's what I came up with. Pretty weird looking, right? Well, I'm done today. Um, am I a little bit worried that this is going to jam up and like kill me? Yeah, I am a little bit worried. In any case, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, and, and, uh, I forgot to mention, but uh, there will be more videos on this bike coming up soon, so stay tuned for those.